morning friends and welcome back I wanted to show you how I made this shadow box and believe it or not I used a cereal box to do this along with a pretty Christmas Village napkin so let me show you how I did this here is the napkin that I'm using you can find napkins on sites on Facebook there's a page called decoupage designs USA and they sell napkins there you can find napkins on eBay you can also take any other napkins that you have that have a central theme like Santa's sleigh you can also follow these same instructions for that so let me show you what I'm doing here I'm taking this cereal box any box is fine and I'm just cutting away all of the corners and the edges because I ultimately want to end up with just these two flat pieces now I'm going to cut out the quarter panel because I need it to fit inside my shadow box if your napkin doesn't fit exactly inside the shadow box where if you have excess space I'll show you how to fix that too now I'm going to take this ball stylus, I'm not sure which one is going to work better yet, and I'm going to outline the shape of these houses over this cardboard box. I'm going to go around the whole edge here and outline just what I need. Now it's not that easy to see, but you can see that little bit of indentation in there. You'll be able to see it a lot better when you're working in person. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut that that shape out right now I'm just cutting out the excess part of the box and then I'm going to go thoroughly over the exact spot and I'll be using my decoupage scissors here because they're smaller and I can get into these curves a little bit easier and I'm going to cut out exactly what I just outlined now because I want to make this dimensional I'm taking that second piece of cardboard and you see this particular napkin has a background I'm actually going to do the same process with these background images so I'm going to do the same thing to this side and cut it out and now I want to cut out the napkin so that I can decoupage it over those pieces of cardboard that we just cut out so this is just a flyer you know you're gonna get a million of these in the mail so we may as well use them and I'm taking a glue stick and I haven't separated the napkin yet and this just makes it so much easier to cut your napkin place it over this piece of scrap paper and take your scissors and cut out everything that you need so I'm using the large scissors here and now I'm just going to cut everything out so that I can decoupage it over the cardboard once you're all done you can separate the napkins and now this fits right over that piece of cardboard but before we decoupage that we would like to paint this and I'm using the Tadeco Art chalk paint chalky finish and of course the links for everything will be down below this video and I'm just going to paint this whole surface to let it dry and now I'm just going to do the same thing with this background image so that I have a nice two-dimensional look to this okay so the cardboard piece is dry and I'm taking this Americana decoupage napkin glue and because we're working on a flat surface I'm going to apply the decoupage glue let the decoupage glue dry now this is completely dry and I've placed the napkin over it and I'm taking a piece of parchment paper and I am going to iron the napkin over the surface once you pull that parchment paper away you've now got a nice firm surface here and now what I want to do is put another layer of decoupage glue over the front of this by the way when you apply that first coat of decoupage glue make sure you put a heavy coating of that glue down otherwise right here is where you're going to find that you have a few problems make sure it's a heavy coat that first one that you apply before ironing and now you can see I have two layers of my Christmas village so I'm taking my top layer this is the one that you're going to see first and I am taking a hole punch and I'm going to poke out or punch out a couple of these little windows and I'm also going to go over to the Christmas tree on the bottom I'm going to take a tack and just 
poke little holes through here because we're going to be putting light in back of this and I want a little bit of light, very little bit of light to come through to the front. So, so far, here's what I have. Here's the front of the Christmas village and you can see the back. So. I am taking a cork and the reason that I'm using this as opposed to the pop dots is because I'm going to be putting a box, a small light box in between these two and you should use whatever you have that puts enough distance between your front piece and your back piece in order for you to put your light s source in that space comfortably. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I've cut these in half and I'm going to place them between the back piece and the front piece and I'm going to make sure they're spaced far enough apart so that I can drop that box down the center. As you continue to watch the video you'll see what I mean. And my next step is to just add some glue to both sides of the cork so that it adheres. By the way, this is one of those corks that has some type of a backing on it. It's, it doesn't feel like cork, but the glue, I'll have the link to the proper glue below. Also, the glue will keep it securely in place. I don't think hot glue will work on this. So I'm just going to apply the glue and I'll allow this to dry. But so far, here's what this looks like. This, by the way, is not a shadow box. This is something that I've had around the house, but all of the same instructions follow when you're doing a shadow box. Now I wanted to mimic a night sky in back of this. So what I did was I put a piece of wax paper down to protect my surface and I took one of these flat white coffee filters and I cut it open. rolled it into the paint and then I rolled it over my surface and I kind of went in all different directions and I used heavier pressure in some areas and lighter pressure in others and while this was still wet I then took the deco art in the white and I put a little splash of it down on my wax paper and I took a bowl of water and this fan brush and I dipped the fan brush into the water and shook it off and then put it into this paint and splattered it. You can either do it freehand like this or you can use your finger to brace it so that it then splashes some of the paint on and you can see how it's looking like a beautiful galaxy. Once that dried, I tore this into strips and I then took my napkin decoupage glue again and what I did was I worked in small sections and I really just need to cover the top of this because don't forget my image that Christmas Village is going to be covering the bottom half anyway. And I decoupage these pieces down onto my surface and as you'll notice I'm applying decoupage glue underneath first then applying the paper, then applying more decoupage glue. And it's fine to overlap this. As a matter of fact, that really helped me uh, create an even nicer look when I was done. So I'm going to finish decoupaging just this top portion. And once I'm all done doing that, I'm going to cover the whole surface with my decoupage glue. And I noticed that there were a few air bubbles popping up underneath. So I just took my finger and moved those out to the edges. And now that's completely dry, so I am taking my triple thick, my absolute favorite top coat of all time. And while the triple thick is wet, by the way, you need to use a bristle brush when you're using the triple thick. I added some very fine glitter and then I added some very coarse glitter. Now once that was dry, I put some double sided tape on the back of my two piece images and stuck it inside there. So you can see we have the sky over the top and this piece is pretty securely in here. Now you'll notice on the sides here, I've got a little bit of space. If you've got spaces on the side, here's what I did. I just took some paper towels, crumpled them up and kind of put them in this longer shape and just fit it on the 
sides over here. This will give this some backing so that when I put the snow text, that fluffy snowy paint on the sides, it's not going to sink into the bottom. It will stay up on the surface. So I'm going to take my tool and just go all around the edges here so that I cover up any spaces there might be and add a little bit of snow around the outsides. And I'm also going to take some of this Snow Rider, which has a much finer tip, and I'm going to outline some of the areas around the top and the sides here. And I am outlining the houses in the front here, but also to draw attention to that second dimension behind it, I'm going to go in the back and outline some of those areas too. Because I like a lot of glitter, I'm going to add glitter to the snow that I just applied, which is still wet. This all dries really quickly. It was all dry within half an hour. Now, once it's all dry, I took these battery-operated LED lights, and I wanted it to go in between the two houses. That's why I had to make sure the space was wide enough to accommodate this piece. And you also want to make sure when you put it inside that you put it with the switch face up, so it's easy for you to turn on and off. So I'm just going to slip this inside of here. And I just took these lights, which are on wires and very easy to manipulate. And I went from the left to the right to the left to the right. And then I carefully pushed these wires down in between our two pieces of cardboard. So I turned on the lights and you can see how pretty this looks. So I just turned all the lights off. Here's how this looks if it's just sitting in a dark room. You see that tiny bit of lights coming through those hole punches. It does look dimensional. The beautiful sky in the background with the glitter looks like a starry night. You can see inside here. And of course, we couldn't have done this without decoupage, right? So <laughs> that's our video for the week, my friends. And by the way, here's how this looks in the daylight. This is just reg regular natural sunlight coming in, and it still looks like a charming little picture. It's dimensional, and you can still see a little bit of the glitter. And then, of course, at nighttime when it lights up, it's got its own separate kind of charm. So we are coming up fast on the Christmas season. I know it gets here before we know it, and I wanted to get some of these projects started now because we're going to have so many other things to do soon enough. So, okay, friends, I will see you next week with another video. And I might be showing you something a little bit sooner than next week because it's something that I've done and I haven't seen a video on this yet. So I'll possibly be back before next Thursday. Make sure you're on Upcycle with Decoupage on Facebook because if you click like and follow on that page, Facebook lets you know when I put a new video out every week. And don't forget to look down below this video for all of the links to the supplies that you might need or want for this project. All right, guys, I will see you next week, if not sooner, with another video. Hope you're all getting into the holiday spirit. Thanks again, my friends. Bye-bye.